Hello friends. It is another second Sunday and we are going to get artsy. And today, as I've been doing all month long, I am working in my art journal because I have a daily art journal challenge. And so I thought, even though it's second Sunday and, you know, we do different things each second Sunday, um, I'm going to incorporate this into it. And one of the things that Martha had said we should be doing is thinking about uh, the challenge prompts and or themes. And the theme I'm thinking about is Halloween because I was inspired by a box that I'd gotten in the mail from Amazon. It was uh, it had imagery on the outside of the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, it was a picture of uh, original video from Amazon. And I liked the colors and I liked the idea of what they were doing. What I'm doing right now is just, I've got these uh, journal pages. This is a journal I had made a number of years ago. And they're kind of thin papers, not really all that great. Uh, for journaling on. So I'm just adding scrap paper uh, to my page, trying to give it a little more stability. Um, it'll it'll give it some texture and things in the background. Um, there's some tape running down the binding in the middle because the, like I said, the paper's not the best. And um, it's, these papers are going to wrinkle, they're not perfect, you know, I don't care, it's an art journal, and all I'm doing is strengthening the paper for right now. So I'm uh, just using some medium to put that down with, this is a matte medium from Deco Art, and uh, this is the Cinderella image that I was looking at, and when you, when you look at this, it has the focal image on top there, but in behind you can see there's kind of a cityscape. And I think that's what's inspired me. I like the purple colors too, because of the, I'm thinking about Halloween and, um, you know, the, the orange of the pumpkins and the purple uh, nights in the night sky. And they just seem to be fall Halloween type colors. And so I'm thinking, I'm that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to the Halloween colors for my inspiration. And I'm going to use the prompts provided by Art Joyous Sharing um, Journal Challenge from this month. And I'm going to create my page that way. So I have these stamps that are cityscapes. Um, I'm going to stamp a couple different ones. I've got one for London there and one for, uh, I think that's the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I just want to put those into the background. Uh, I liked that idea on that Cinderella image. And I thought, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to use a image from, um, we had created some collage sheets, Shell and I, in our uh, Facebook group, which is Art Joyous Sharing, um, share things with our community. And so one of the things that we had shared this month were um, collage papers that you can, you know, use, download, uh, print, and use in your art. And... Now I am getting out some product that, you know how we all have these products that we just don't go to, they're not our go-to products, we're not using them up. Well, this is one of those products, and um, I was digging around in a drawer, and I ran into these, and I thought, you know, I can use those for that kind of pumpkin-y, orange-yellow, green background, uh, which is, to me, fall and Halloween type colors. And that's what I'm concentrating on is fall and Halloween type colors. And I like what it's doing. I, I think it's making a cool background. Um, 
and it's bringing out the texture from the papers that I glued down in there. So, yeah, there's a couple different products there that I'm using. There's a third one. This is a purple, and I'm thinking, well, if I edge the page in that purple, then that will draw your eye to the center of the page more. So, just putting a little edging around the page with that purple. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to soften it a little bit. I have a damp baby wipe and a sponge and I'm just softening that down so it's not such a harsh line getting it to blend into uh, the other background that's there on the page and that's working pretty well I'm, I'm liking that it's you know giving me the results that I was expecting and now I'm going to take that deli paper stamped image of the cityscape and I'm going to glue that down on the page and I've got several of them I think I will you know layer them as if they were in the distance and you know you're looking at it in a distance and one's behind another and kind of like you do kind of like it is so just going to glue those down And I want to remind you that there are a number of people in this hop, uh, and you'll find all the information in the description box below, along with all my other information. You know, I have uh, links to all kinds of things, my, my website, my uh, Facebook group, uh, the classes that we do that sort of thing it's all there so if you're interested check out the description box I know some of you are watching on uh, your television but if you're on anything else your phone your tablet your laptop whatever you can get that information out of the description box so this is one of those clip images that I cut out of a piece of paper and um, I didn't want the face of the giraffe there. I wanted the, the body. And I should tell you that the uh, prompt for today is Gavino Coulter. So when I chose the zebra, I decided to use that because I was looking for an equine shape because uh, colt is a young male horse and um, that's, these are the images that go through my mind when I'm doing a play on words Gavino Coulter what does that bring to your mind I don't know I it definitely was male it definitely was young and equine for me so that's why i chose the imagery that i did um, i also cut out a cowboy hat um, you know horses typically in the united states have been something that you equate to western um, states attire uh, all that sort of thing so I'm um, trying to get the shape of the head because I want to put a different face on the colt because we are doing Gavino and Vino I'm thinking of wine I don't know why we just came from South Dakota and I bought a bottle of wine and, and you guys are going to laugh it was kick-ass rhubarb wine um, we used to brew not brew we used to uh, ferment rhubarb into pistingle and so we had our own uh, vino and I'm looking for a male head I had some junk mail so I guess President Biden is going to be the shape of the head here for my Gavino <laughs> Coulter, even though he's not exactly a colt any longer, 
maybe he's got the spirit of one. I don't know. So I'm gluing these pieces together, trying to get the shape or image that I want to create here for uh, the head of this caricature that I'm making with my cowboy hat and equine creature. So uh, just adding some color to that background, trying to get those stamped and glued on images to blend into the background. And I'm doing that using some crayon markers. Uh, these are really good for blending out color and you know not destroying everything underneath. So um, these are from Art King, I think. I, I've got three or four different varieties of these crayons because um, you pick them up from different companies and they all work pretty much the same. And then I'm going to start uh, looking at the body of the creature and adding the text that I want to this page. I didn't want it purely black and white uh, like a zebra would be. I wanted to add some color to my creature and adding some color to the face, giving it a little more fleshy tone than I want. I'll end up changing that in the end. But uh, you can see that I added some rub-ons and started to do some of the words or verbiage on the page. And now I'm just using a stabilo to go around the edge. So what my page says is toned and tanned rough rider ready for action because I'm uh, thinking about the fact that uh, Joe Biden is buried underneath there. He's not exactly toned or tanned or a rough rider, but, you know, he's hit some rough patches with having to deal with people and uh, he is definitely action oriented because he's got to got to make uh, choices so he's buried under there this rough rider uh, equine creature is something definitely out of a Halloween <laughs> night flick uh, and I'm just gonna finish up drawing and colorizing this image add some Google eyes because he is kind of a crazy creature got to get his ears on there you know you got a horse you got to have the ears poking through the hat um could have been a straw hat too i guess anyway i can get out some paint markers and use those and this one i'm having a little bit of difficulty with but you know i'll i'll master it i'll get rough with it i'll get some action out of it <laughs> So, uh, I want to thank you for being here. Remember that uh, there are a lot of good videos out here. If you missed the ones earlier today, you can go back and scroll through the playlist and catch the ones that you missed earlier. And, you know, go join the chat for the next one. Um, Shell usually follows me, so I'm figuring that's probably what it'll be again today. She is Paper Octeo Studio, and uh, she's my buddy, so give her some love. Give her a thumbs up, follow her if you can, and uh, do the same for the rest of the people that have provided some good entertainment for you here today. So that's about it for me. going to wrap it up, and... Uh, Move on to the next person. And I will try to remember to get that into the live chat so that you people that are here live can uh, go there. Bye for now.